We're in the exchange at the moment on a Saturday night. We've got John Lennon McCulloch headlining the exchange that, uh, tonight, and we've also got Pickery White local band, along with Modern Minds from Warsaw and Movie Moscow also. So how are you, John? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, this is your last UK tour. So Yeah, the last date, so um yeah, it's been it's been great, yeah, really enjoyed it, yeah. yeah. Until you hit Germany, of course. Yeah, yeah, I think I go to um not have the dates on it, I think, I think it's Amsterdam first. Awesome. So, uh, should be cool, yeah. So how's it all been so far? Yeah, really well, yeah. Been a all good crowd and played some really good venues, so it's uh have you had really enjoyed it. So yeah, probably definitely say the King Tuts in uh, Glasgow was the uh, main one, you know. It's like a real good venue. Yeah, everyone's been there. Yeah, have you been before? No, I haven't. No, I know local bands have been off. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it was packed out and it was all singing the songs and everything. It was just uh, oh, wow. amazing. So got a little fan base up Glasgow. Yeah, <laughs> they're great in, in Glasgow. You know, anyway, it's got one really. They all seem to enjoy it. So awesome. And yeah. um, so, have you been any? Have you been supporting any big names on the tour? Uh, no, this has uh, been a headline tour at the okay. minute, so I've done a lot of supports, but this has just been my own at the minute, yeah. What's been your favourite support uh, slot? Or, um, it's a hard one, I'd probably say Richard Hawley. Oh, wow. Supported him twice and he's just some, you know, amazing artist. So you find him in Edward, that's fine. Yeah, even before I even met him, he was a big influence, so it was amazing just for me. So whilst touring, have you seen anyone who supported you that you would recommend us to listen to? Oh. Because you've, you've had a headline tour, so you've got to have some more support. Um, so last night, who was your supporter at London? You've had a four hour drive up um, here, so you're a bit tired. There's a, for, uh, there's a band called The Swagger, I think. Alright, the main local to London. I think so, yeah, yeah, that was good. And, uh, there's been so many bands on, I can't, you know, because quite a few up tonight, I can't, can't even remember them all, so. Yeah, they've all been, you know, good, yeah. good artists, yeah. You've got some good support here, though. We've got a big, strong scene in Stoke. Um, yeah, it's a lovely little town. Yeah, I've never been to Stoke before. You'll have to come back again. I will, the, uh, the potter is. Yeah, we'll put, I'll put you on a gig. <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> come back. Um, so, how scary is it that you could possibly be someone's influence right now? Because you are only 16 and you are becoming quite big. Um, so, how scary is it that you could be someone's influence? Yeah, well, it's it's hard to think of things like that sometimes. Um, I don't know, really. It's amazing, really. I guess you know, if someone was into it, and they picked a guitar up or somehow I wanted to write a song like that, it would be really cool. Yeah, yeah it is awesome. I've got to ask, um, how did it feel having North South Divide on the Japan shelves? <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was quite a you know great moment for me. My my life, you know, another milestone. Yeah. I think you know, tech life in Sage is a different milestone than mine, that was a, a, another one. So it was amazing just Crazy to that. see the, the Japanese writing on it. Yeah. yeah I've got, I've got a Japan tour. Pardon? You can have Japan tour. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully um, early next year. Sweet. So, um, yeah. And uh, I've got a copy of it in my house. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I've sort of sealed when we're open it. So. Oh, yeah, don't take it. No, no. Is it all sung in Japan? Or all sung in Japanese? Well. <laughs> That's your that's, next um, step. That's my third album. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're talking about like, your third album, but are you writing a second album? Yeah, I've got it all written. I did the demos for it in, uh, well, I mean, last week mm -hmm. or so uh, in a great studio in Glasgow, and um, it's sounding good, yeah. Gonna yeah, definitely uh, expand the sound a bit and get the band on it and that. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Awesome. Have you, have you got a certain sound you're going for on a second album? I think so, yeah. I listen to different records all the time and think, oh, what's all that? Or, mm -hmm. you, know, you change your mind, but I don't think you can have a plan for it as what you want it to say an outline, really. Who have you been listening to to get this album then? Oh, uh, um, been into a lot of Leonard Cohen lately, Tom Waits, but not really. Probably not enough songs to really sound like that, but yeah. that's just the sort of thing I've been listening to. Stunning. Yeah, yeah. I listen to loads of bands every day, you know. One one minute you're moved for the Smiths and yeah. um, the next one else to uh yeah. What's your favourite record right now then? Out now. What's your favourite record right oh, now? Oh um it's a good one. At the minute I'd probably say Songs of Love and Hate by yeah. Leonard Cohen, yeah. Awesome, so you've been listening to him a lot then? Yeah, it's definitely like one of my favourites. Cool. I think you like I would like him more. Yeah, I don't really get in. I think if you connect with you, you go deeper than you. Yeah, cool. Uh, Towerland Lullaby 
it was featured on Radicals Rising last Monday. It went down really well. We got some good feedback about that. So have you been featuring it on your tour? Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, yeah, playing it. It's a new single, so it's coming out March 24th. So, um, yeah, it's, it's had a good reaction. And um, I recorded the Wild Bomber 3, and uh, the singer is uh, Larry Love, family of the Bomber 3, got up last night. <laughs> and they did it with me, so that was wow. a pretty uh, cool experience, yeah. Another milestone to add. Yeah, yeah. We've got so many milestones at the age of 16, it's incredible. <laughs> um, but you're so busy at such a young age, obviously. Being picked up by Al McGee, uh, the ex manager of Oasis, how does he feel? Uh, being picked up at such a young age. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's probably quite, you know, it, feel, it feels pretty normal now because it's, you know, it's been quite, quite a, a while since I signed it, but at the time it was, uh, it still is amazing, you know, to some, think sometimes when you're travelling a lot and, and doing things, yeah. You, you have, it takes a while to, you know, you have to, yeah, you don't really realise what you've done until it's happened. I'm like that. If, if something big comes along, you think, oh, my head's in the clouds. Yeah. And uh, a big thing happened a couple months ago, Probably quite different, I'd say. Like, I don't really listen to my first album, but I, yeah. you know, I just think it's, yeah, it could be better. But everyone says yeah, because um, I did it when I was younger, not not, no, not much younger. Did <laughs> when um, I was ten. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think on some of the songs on there, I quite like, and I wish I could redo them or something. But I think live, you know, it's quite different. You know, it's just more probably. I don't know, probably better. A bit know. more atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, a bit more intimate. You'll come to a time when you're 18 that you'd want to remaster a song off your album. Yeah, that'd be practice. pretty good, yeah, yeah. Um, so, at this very moment in time, while we're in Stoke, what is your ambition in life? While I'm in Where Stoke. Where do you want to be? Well, there's a pretty good fish and chip shop around the corner. And big up to the exchange, and I bumped into John earlier and said that he'd recommend the steak. It's a nice oh, one exchange. It is an <laughs> amazing, really nice food in it. I had, I had a pudding called the Giant Hot Fudge Cake in it <laughs> with vanilla ice cream. And I, I've took a photo on my phone, it's just amazing. Super photo, Instagram at all. Oh, it is Instagram. <laughs> so, yeah, what's your lifelong ambition in the music industry? Well, lifelong ambition, um, I don't really have one to be honest. Just, just stay, stay here as long as I can. Uh, so you've got your foot in the door massively at the moment. Yeah. Uh, with such a great manager and label, uh, getting yourself on the front cover of a magazine. How was that one? Yeah, I think it was um, what's on. What's on? Yeah. 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 That was a really, you know, really another great achievement. It was quite, you know, different seeing my mug on the uh, cover. <laughs> How was the experience? Because obviously, did you have photo shoots and interviews? I did the uh, photo shoot uh, on the day of my uh, new video. Oh yeah. So. Um, we didn't actually like, have photo shoot for that particular one, yeah, we just right. chose it from them, yeah. Uh, so, where do you see uh, your face? Which magazine do you see your face on next then? Which magazine do you hope will pick up and be like, I'm having that face on front of my cover? <laughs> um, I don't know really, uh, I can't think of all the magazines out there. I'll get you on a local the, one. Uh, get you on a local that'll one. Be, that'll be, that'll be grand. <laughs> Send a photo in, put this on front cover. <laughs> Tonight, uh, you'll be heading to Germany. How excited is that one? Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking uh, forward to it. It should be a great experience. I've only played two dates overseas so far in Belgium and Italy. So, and the crowds are just you know really good. They, they really like to listen. And, so you've got yeah. fans over Germany then, as well as Japan, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it seems to be doing well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going out and probably trying some new songs out. You know, because. Yeah. You know, it seems to be really quite attentive there. Yeah, so. So, if you could go to another country, uh, where would it be? New York. New York. Yeah, definitely. America's a big one, though, isn't it? Yeah, I've always had a big attraction to go to New York because of Bob Dylan. And oh, cool. Yeah, so yeah, I see. Definitely I see. go there. So, good luck for your last UK tour here at the Exchange, and I hope you can catch uh, Pickering Whitey one right now. Thank you very much, yeah, I'm going to have to go down and uh, check it out. We'll run down now. Thank you. Thank you.